Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Sylvie Savage and I'm a holistic pet advisor. So I help people uh, get through some difficult times they may be having with their pets or uh, giving them some insights on their lifestyle or nutrition or even emotions. And um, this particular channel is really to help give some little tidbits here and there and advice on things that are happening and uh, also some uh, insight as to things maybe you would never thought of. And today I want to talk to you about something that I learned because I, I, I study so much and I do so much research all the time about what's new and what's going on. And this particular thing um, I came across a few years ago and it's applicable for you as a human and to your dog. And uh, it just kind of crossed my mind today because I had it on my counter and I thought, you know, I should do a little video explaining why coconut oil is so good for you and your dog. And Molly agrees. <laughs> it's the mailman coming. Um, so uh, I, it's a little bit scientific and I don't want to make it about that. I want to keep it very, very simple. And I just want to explain to you why it's a good thing. So uh, I'm going to keep it simple, as simple, simple. And so uh, coconut oil is a saturated fat and what that means is is that it gets uh, firm uh, it's not it becomes solid in, at room temperature so saturated fats usually come from meat and dairy but coconut oil is also a saturated fat now in the news in the media saturated fats are terrible for you and um, there's a there's a reason for that and it has to do with the absorption of the fat and what it does in your body now uh, a saturated fat is usually a long chain triglyceride. Now don't leave, it's gonna be the most complex, like the most a scientific word I'm gonna use. A long chain triglyceride, look at it this way. It's like a, literally like a, a chain. Imagine a chain and it's long. And so your body will absorb a long chain more it'll take longer because and it'll be more difficult because it's longer and that's why uh it's not a great nutritional supplement uh coconut oil although is a saturated fat which means it stays um solid at room temperature is actually a medium chain triglyceride so that's unique about coconut oil even though it's a saturated fat and there's a whole bunch of great reasons why coconut oil is good, but I'm just going to explain to you why that is. It's because the, the chain is much smaller and it actually gets absorbed through the body way quicker than a long chain triglyceride. And... Also, I'm going to just share the biggest reason why I think coconut oil is fabulous is because our brain is like a supercomputer, right? And it uses so much energy to actually be effective. It requires quite a bit of energy, probably because it's so amazing, right? And um, it mostly gets its energy from uh, uh, glucose in our food. And so it will metabolize this glucose in our food and feed our brain. As we get older, we're not as efficient in metabolizing glucose out of our food. And, you know, like even myself, I find I'm not as sharp or, you know, as I used to be when I was younger. And, you know, it has a lot to do with a whole bunch of different things. But the, the reality is, is if your brain is not accessing enough energy from uh, metabolizing glucose from your food, you now have a gap. Of, you, of requirement, like you're missing energy for your brain to be fully effective. And the good thing about coconut oil is that it actually is so efficient at the brain blood barrier, it actually goes right into your brain. So it can provide up to 20% of your brain's needed energy. So imagine, your brain is not getting enough energy because your body's not able to metabolize this very well. And coconut oil doesn't really need a whole lot of metabolizing. It just goes straight to your brain. And so now you add coconut oil to your diet, 
and suddenly your brain is getting way more energy requirements and so you become way more alert more cognitive and so if your dog is getting older and you know I know like my, I can see Molly 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 back there she's eight years old almost nine and uh, she's sharp super super smart dog but you know I, I'm I can see even though she has a phenomenal diet um, I can see that there's she's not as interested in certain things and she's not as quick to be like hey let's what are you trying to say what are we doing um, and so adding coconut oil to her diet just improves and sort of helps to make sure that her energy needs for her brain have been fulfilled as much as they possibly can. So now there's a whole bunch of reasons why coconut oil is really good. But that's one that I think I wanted to share with you guys because even for us as people, uh, our cats, I mean, you know, imagine being able to give your brain a just boom energy right out of the gate, like a good fat, a good energy that your brain needs that is lacking because of our metabolism, uh, our, our brain not being able to necessarily metabolize the right amount of energy. It could be just because you have a lot of stress in your life or you have, you know, health issues. Uh, consider using coconut oil uh, for any reason or every day even it helps with so many things but that's my that's my little um course or whatever you want to call it for today i just really wanted to share with you the value of coconut oil and the brain and why it actually works now don't forget to subscribe like share your ideas especially especially if they are uh, helpful and um let me know what you think talk to you soon bye